What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is James Murphy, AKA Murph. And in this one, I am comparing and contrasting the 2020-21 Optic versus the 2020-21 Select. Now I just grabbed a mega box of each just because that seems to be the more popular product here in the space of sports cards. Obviously, I'm going to try to keep it relative to blasters as well, maybe hangers. But for the most part, we'll be talking about these two. I don't, don't want to hit the mic here. So it's like we're trying to hold them. So I'm going to be comparing the Optic Mega to the Select Mega for 2021. And to be quite frank, from what I've noticed here at the shop, people are digging the Select. People are digging the Select. Now, obviously, over time, the optic may serve more value or people just in general like what the optic gives you. That nice Donruss optic hollow, the silver looks beautiful. Do not get me wrong. It is beautiful. The pink optics, crystal clear. But the cracked ice for the select products are pretty damn good too. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. They're pretty good. The price point are relative to both products depending where you go whether it's online your local card shop Murph's card town sports shop <laughs> that I don't know it's around a hundred bucks you might find it for cheaper you might find it for more five dollars more than this ten dollars more than that it, it's just gonna change wherever you really go okay there's no firm set price with everything being essential stock stock market these days whether it's boxes or even the cards everything has its own value and it goes up and down every day here at the shop Murph's Card Town Sports Shop this is a better performing product than the optic is whether it's for blasters or megas doesn't matter people like the select product better why is that for I don't know past handful of years Select has always been a tertiary pro uh, product in comparison to Prism, Mosaic, Optics, and then Select. Now, depending on who you ask, <clears throat> one may like Select better than Optic, one may like Prism better than Optic, Optic better than this and that, and it goes on for days. Every person you ask is going to have a different opinion. Me personally, I like the Select cards. Maybe not better than the Optic cards, just the way they look I kind of like the select card better now I understand that the surface of the selects are very sensitive the centering can be off oftentimes but the biggest gripe I have with this year's optic product whether it's the mega box or the optic uh, the blaster box excuse me is that there's dimples on the cards and if you've opened whether it's the mega box or the blaster box you'll know when you open that card up and you see little craters and little dinks and dunks on it. The centering's even off on those two. You're like, what the hell? Now, I'm not going to say this Select is a perfect product because it's not. We all know that. But when you're able to pull the top three rookies, LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, and James Wiseman, all in the same box, cracked ice, that's pretty damn good. That is a sure as a hell lot better than a base optic of just one of those three in here. And another thing I don't like about this optic box this year, or the optic this year in general, is that it is just so flooded, so flooded with my house cards. Splash cards, express lane cards, there's just so many of them out there. Just, I think it was Monday, what day was Monday? The 20, 22nd, or maybe the 23rd, which was a Tuesday, I think it was 23rd on Tuesday of November, that some guy bought a mega box of select ripped it and in it I posted on social media elephant print LeBron James card three thousand to eight thousand dollar card depending on you know that's kind of where the comps are lying what <laughs> what a Anthony Edwards in a separate box was pulled a couple weeks ago cracked ice and that alone was going for you know $75 at that time, I believe. Now, obviously, if you pull pink optics of these rookies, you're going to get your value back. You're going to get your value back. But when it comes to more bang for your buck, 
When you get more bang for your buck, it's the select, at least right now. Later on, when the 2021, 20, 22 products come out, it could be a completely different argument. But right now, if I'm to buy one of these products right now, I'm buying the select. I really am. Yes, you get less cards. You get 32 cards in this box and you get 56 in this box. It even says it right there, 56. And you got to do the math here. You got to do 8 times 4, 32, right? Long term, this is probably the better product. Long term. Short term, quick flip, quick trade, it's the select. I think the card quality is better in the selects this year than they are in the optic. Now, that's just my opinion, though. You could have your own opinion, and I want to hear about it. Leave those opinions down in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm Team Select for 21 or 2021 basketball than I am for 2021. It's such a tongue twister. 2020, 21 optic. Like I said, that's my opinion, but I want to hear yours down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like rating on it as I would greatly appreciate that. And also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new or have not considered subscribing yet. But that is going to do it for this one. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. But between now and then, you guys know that I love you. And you know that I will always, always see you.